This video covers removing and replacing the paddle wheel on the Snowy 3000. Welcome to the Snowy instructional video series. Please follow safe practices when working with your machine. Always make sure the power is disconnected before doing any servicing or maintenance. Note, Snowy is not liable for any owner or user actions. These videos are provided to illustrate common situations encountered and to offer suggestions and guides. Tools. You will need a pair of pliers. Remove the three black thumb wing nuts from the ice hopper that's attached to the motor cabinet, each side and the back. Carefully lift the ice hopper off the motor cabinet and place it away from the machine. Remove the four wing nuts and four washers and lift the blade housing off the top of the unit. To remove the blade from the blade housing, hold the blade housing with your thumb and extend your fingers inside to support the blade. Use a pair of pliers and twist the six tabs straight parallel with the blade housing slots. Then gently tap on the top of the tab to loosen the blade. The blade will separate from the housing. Take the new blade and make sure the tabs are parallel and will fit through the blade housing slots. Hold the blade housing upside down with the slots down and place the blade inside, making sure to align the tabs with the slots. Push together until all tabs are through the slots. Using your fingers to support the blade, turn the unit upside down and twist the tabs 30 to 45 degrees, just enough to snug the blade to the housing. Note, every tab must be twisted to secure the blade to the housing, otherwise the blade will wobble and eventually any tab securing the blade will shear and the blade and blade housing will be destroyed and will have to be replaced. You may need to put some pressure on the blade to ensure it is seated properly in the blade housing guide group. All the tabs should be completely through the blade housing guide or the blade is not seated properly and you will have rubbing issues. After the blade housing is placed on the motor cabinet with the snowshoe facing forwards, put the washers and then the wing nuts on and finger tighten. Make sure no loose parts are inside the ice cabinet because you will need to do an alignment test by powering up the machine. Use extreme care for this next step to hear the blade alignment. Plug in the shaver and using the switch, turn on the shaver. The Snowy 3000 has a unique hum when it is properly aligned. If the blade and housing are not properly aligned, you will hear a grinding or metallic banging. The machine is not to be operated with a misaligned blade. The grinding occurs when the blade or housing is touching the paddle wheel. To correctly align, the housing must be centered around the blade and also over the paddle wheel. If necessary, loosen the housing wing nuts and shift the housing to center it around the paddle wheel. Use pliers to tighten the wing nuts to hold the housing secure. Gently place the ice hopper back on the motor housing and align the holes for the screw. Insert and tighten the three black thumb screws to secure the ice hopper and motor housing together. You are now ready to power up and use the Snowy 3000 shaver. Remember, be safe as you enjoy the best shade ice snow available. Please look at the other instructional videos or the Snowy website for additional information and helps. Thank you.